Hi, this is James Lincoln, and here's some experiments on coupled jumping rings. We start with the situation where there's a single ring, and on the right there's a bigger ring on top of that ring. Now, they jump in about the same amount of time. I'm filming at 480 frames per second. Now I'm going to repeat the footage and look closely. Even though the little one starts first, the pair gets off the top faster. They must be going faster, which they are, and they jump higher. But how did that happen? The big one must have been pulling the little one up. Here's a new situation where we have copper, the middle one I want you to watch first. Copper jumps slower than that other situation. And I also have the ones on the left and right have an aluminum attached to the copper. I'm going to show you that again. The one on the right has the aluminum on top and the copper on the bottom. Watch as this one jumps pretty much the same time, but just a little faster. On the other hand, the one on the left has a tiny little spacer separating the copper from the aluminum. And as it slips, oh, they attract together. That proves that the two coils are attracting to each other. Copper does not jump faster than aluminum. Now here's a new situation. Aluminum, aluminum versus aluminum and copper. The aluminum, aluminum jumps much faster than the aluminum copper because the copper slows down the aluminum. Now here is the crucial experiment. Aluminum, gap, aluminum. And this gap gets to be pulled away when I throw the switch. I throw the switch and they jump whoa, and pull together. Now that was pretty fast, so I'm going to show it to you again in super slow motion. Here we go. The bottom one jumps, the top one jumps, and then halfway through, whoa, they attract together and leave together. The bottom one seemed to pull down the top one as they jumped. For a little bit more evidence compared to this situation, Here's the pair before they're separated on the right, and here's the pair separated, and we're going to launch them both. They both seem to escape at about the same time, even though the pair on the left was initially separated slightly. This implies to me that, once again, they are pulling together during the jump, and also it has nothing to do with the fact that they become one single conductor, because as two separate conductors, they still manage to get the same jump anyways. Well, that's all I have to say. I wonder what other suggestions you would come up with.